द कंट्रोलर एंड ऑडिटर जेनेरल पावर्स अर्लियर वी डिस्कस्ड हु अ कंट्रोलर एंड ऑडिटर जेनेरल इज हु अपॉइंट्स हिम व्हाट इज टेनियर इज हाउ ही फिट्स इन द लीगल फ्रेमवर्क ऑफ इंडिया एंड व्हाट हिज ड्यूटीज आर कंटिन्यूइंग आवर जर्नी थ्रू स्पेशल ऑडिट्स टुडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज द पावर ऑफ द कंट्रोलर एंड ऑडिटर जेनरल फॉलोइंग द इंटरनेशनल पॉलिसी ऑन रिकैप्स here is a short synopsis on the controller and the auditor general if you want a detailed analysis of how a cag fits into the legal framework of the country and the duties of a cag you can use the respective links to those articles cnag is appointed by the president of india this along with the fact that he can only be removed on the ground of proven misbehavior or incapacity ensures that he is completely independent in his actions In short, the Constitution recognizes C and A G as a judge of Supreme Court. He draws the same amount of salary, and further, he can be removed only when each House of Parliament decides to do so by a majority of not less than two thirds of the members of the House present and voting. He has duties prescribed by the Constitution of India, which are to compile and submit accounts of Union and States. duties regarding general provisions relating to the audit audit of receipts and expenditures audit of grant and loans audit of receipts of union or states audit of account of stores and inventory audit of government companies and corporations and now with all that being said let's jump into our today's topic of discussion the powers of cag an act of parliament the cnag act has given various powers to the cnag in connection with his duties and performances we will talk about these powers in bit the power to inspect accounts to begin he has the power to inspect any office of accounts which are under the control of the union or of a state government this includes those offices too which are responsible for the creation of the initial or subsidiary accounts further he has the power to order the office of accounts which are under the control of union or state government to send their accounts books papers and other documents which deal with or are otherwise relevant to the transactions under audit to specified places inquire for information cag has the power to question the people in charge of offices for any information which he requires to prepare any account or report as per his duties He also makes various observations in the office to acquire any information that is necessary for him to fulfill his duties. And in the course of carrying out his audit, he has the power to allocate any part of detailed audit to any accounts of any office to other persons as prescribed and apply limited checks in relation to such accounts or transactions as he determines. So, with this video, we conclude our discussion on the Comptroller and Auditor General. we will continue our topic of special audits with hospital audits in the next article if you have any concerns or doubts please feel free to raise a query thank you very much